Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a tale of intrigue and perhaps a hint of irony. Prince Harry's recent solo trip to Tokyo has caused quite a stir, and there's more beneath the surface than meets the eye. Our beloved prince embarked on a journey to the bustling city, accompanied by a whirlwind of attention and curiosity. However, it seems that the reception was rather unexpected. Upon his arrival at Tokyo's Haneda Airport, Prince Harry sported a black shirt and a cap emblazoned with the logo of the Archerwell Foundation, a charitable organization he runs alongside his wife, Meghan Markle. Yet, there was a notable absence by his side, Meghan was nowhere to be seen. The Duke of Sussex exchanged smiles and words with reporters, expressing his pleasure at being in Japan once again. It was an unusual sight, a royal without his partner by his side, especially in a culture where unity is often celebrated. Interestingly, a keen-eyed royal fan on Reddit pointed out that celebrities often have the option to use discreet entrances at airports, shielded from the public eye. In this case, Prince Harry chose to walk through the bustling terminal, deliberately mingling with the crowds. Some speculate that his decision to opt for a public route suggests a desire for attention, reminiscent of his wife, Meghan. Judy James, a renowned body language expert, dissected Harry's demeanor during this solo trip. His smiles, the rapport he shared with fans, and his verbal exchange with the press were all indicative of a man who revels in the spotlight. James suggested that this could be an expression of Harry's enjoyment of the celebrity-style attention he's receiving. However, the irony deepens when you consider the reception Prince Harry received from the Japanese public. Videos and images from the scene show that while some fans greeted him warmly, many seemed oblivious to his presence, focused on their own destinations. This lack of attention from the Japanese crowd is a stark contrast to the attention he may have been accustomed to elsewhere. There's an intriguing layer to this narrative that delves into cultural nuances. The Japanese people, rooted in a tradition of respect and modesty, may not resonate with the media-centric approach often associated with Harry and Meghan. In a society where adhering to norms and respecting elders is paramount, Harry's actions could be perceived as an affront to these values. Interestingly, one Reddit user speculated that Harry had orchestrated the media presence himself, suggesting that the absence of photos with his friend Nacho indicated a deliberate move. This theory further underscores the complex interplay between celebrity culture and cultural expectations. In contrast, the Japanese imperial family follows a traditional structure where women often take a backseat to men. Princess Mako's example, relinquishing her royal birthright to marry a commoner, underscores the distinction between Meghan's narrative and the realities faced by Japanese royals. And there you have it, a fascinating exploration of Prince Harry's solo adventure to Tokyo, a trip that reveals layers of cultural contrasts and personal dynamics. From unexpected attention to subtle commentary on societal values, this journey offers more insight than initially meets the eye. We'll continue to watch as the royals navigate the delicate balance between their public personas and the expectations of diverse cultures. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of royalty, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating royal updates. Until next time, dear viewers. Keep seeking those royal mysteries. Goodbye for now.